Welcome back fellow Switch Bargain Hunters and happy Mother's Day to the mums in the UK. I'm James Amaro and every Sunday I wade through the US, UK and EU eShops to find the best bargains, the games on sale worth buying. A big thank you to the Digital Cherry team behind Hypercharge Unbox to sponsor this series. If you've not come across this first person shooter set in a miniature world then you are missing out. The game takes you right back to your childhood as you take on hordes of toy soldiers, plastic dinosaurs and much more. There are lots of modes that you can enjoy either alone or with your friends online. There's a trial to download and enjoy, plus there's been a huge update recently so check it out. Right, let's jump in to these bargains. Juan, Jordan, what are your picks this week guys? James, I hope you're all well, everybody. Nice to see a couple of Nintendo games on sale this week. Quite rare that Nintendo themselves reduce prices. So I've gone for Paper Mario, the Origami King, with its 35% off in the UK and in Europe. Sorry to our US friends, but this will probably go on sale next week or the week after. Sales like this tend to alternate week on week between regions. But fear not, if you really want it now, you can still buy from the UK. Just check out our handy guide in the description. Now, if there's one thing about a Nintendo game is there's always going to be something to surprise you. Maybe not all the ideas work here, but I enjoyed the game nevertheless. I thought it was funny, the visuals are great in my opinion, and I love the music. I mean, most Nintendo games always deliver in that department. An adventure that I think many of you will enjoy, but the battle system is not going to be for everyone. In truth, it left me slightly disappointed and stops the game from being great. Instead, it's still very good and especially worth considering with that 35% off. Hope you enjoy your week, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you next week. Take care. What's up? How's everyone doing? Jordan here. Did you miss me last week? No? Fair enough. Anyways, this week is RPG crazy and there's plenty of obvious choices for me personally, but I'm going to go with one that I haven't actually played before, but the sale this week has got me to press that purchase button. Star Ocean First Departure R is a remaster of a remaster. Yes, this was originally a Super Famicom game, but then put on the PSP and now it's on the Switch and even fresher than ever. I'm loving the retro visuals here and the soundtrack sample that I've heard sounds great and hopefully I can delve into this one soon. I can't promise it's going to be amazing but I am buying it so you know that's my recommendation. It's now 50% off for a very respectable £8.49 and in dollars and euros it's £10.49. I can't say no to a retro JRPG for that price. Is it something that I'm going to enjoy? I'd love to know your thoughts. That's some awesome picks there, guys. Now, for me, this week, I'm going with Super Chariot, the platformer puzzler from Microids, which has a really chunky 90% off. Playing as a princess and her fiancé, you need to drag a chariot with the late king's remains through 25 subterranean levels to his final resting place. Along the way, you are taunted by the ungrateful king's ghost, face enemies, gather loot, and take physics-based puzzles on. It's a well-accomplished game that has replayability and plenty of fun moments and secrets to find. It's decent on your own, but is a real treat in local co-op, either in tabletop mode or on a TV. It's a solid package, and at this lower cost, you really cannot go wrong. As always with Nintendo, the discounts are never vast, but Super Mario Maker 2, with 35% off, is its biggest sale yet and a decent deal. If you ever played the original, then the formula will be familiar to you. The premise is of building and playing your own awesome levels, but this time the tools are better. You can play other stages online and there's a surprisingly good campaign on offer as well. There are very few games, if any, that will let you express your creativity so well and whilst being accessible and still being fun to play. Collection of Mana brings the first three titles from the Game Boy and SNES to the Nintendo Switch. The first title, confusingly, was released as Saikin Densetsu in Japan, Final Fantasy Adventures and Mystic Quest in Europe. There are a raft of screen options in this simple yet wonderful adventure which eases you into the series. Next up, it's Secret of Mana, one of the finest RPGs ever made, and its follow-up Trials of Mana, which was just as good but criminally never got released in the West. In fact, this is the first time it's landed on these shores in all its glory. This collection is fantastic and there is even cart play in the second and third titles to boot. Speaking of the third title, Trials of Mana was remade on the Switch in glorious HD. 
If you play the original and then jump into this one, you will get the sense that the story and some elements stay true to the original, whilst others like combat and progression are much more in keeping with modern titles. The balance works well, especially when it comes to combat that feels like a solid mix of strategy and action. There's a lot to like here with multiple story threads, lots to discover and lovely visuals and audio rounding off this title that currently has 40% off so it won't break the wallet either. Bandai Namco have stuck the original Cyber Sleuth and the subsequent hacker's memory together into one comprehensive digital monster catching package with over 80 hours of gameplay to be had. Whilst not as popular as Pokemon, this series certainly holds its own with its large library of monsters, story going all the way back to 1999 and has enough unique gameplay and mechanics to its name to warrant consideration. Instead of one-on-one -on -one battles, you mostly pit three against three, so it's important to get that balance in your team right. There's a friendly feel to gameplay that you may or may not like depending on your taste. But overall, it's a solid Digimon package with a healthy discount. I reviewed Lost Sphere three years ago and it's a mixed bag. On one hand, it has all the individual components of a great JRPG from its systems to its cast of characters, and yet it gets a bit lost in borrowing lots from great JRPGs without having its own strong sense of identity. Is it the best JRPG out there? Certainly not, but there are glimmers to enjoy. I would not recommend this game in all honesty at full price, but with 60% off, if you're looking for a journey to pass some time, then maybe have a look. Forgotten Anne is a 2D puzzle platformer adventure game, but this one is all about the story and striking visuals. It's like stepping into a wonderful cartoon with stunning hand-drawn art and an intriguing tale. The gameplay is fine, but it isn't the focus. With that said, this is a beautiful adventure with a moving story that is 100% worth playing. It is polished and a joy to experience from start to finish. A comedic top-down stealth action game where you play as a killer vacuum cleaner in an effort to defend your house against burglars. Yep, it's as bonkers and over the top as it sounds, so of course, give it a go. You need to hide under furniture, hack household gadgets, and of course, clean up the mess after you're done before the humans get home. This is a short and sweet barrel of laughs. With a whopping 85% off in the UK, this is just £1.34. Money well spent and worth hoovering up. Juan reviewed Xenon Valkyrie Plus, which you can check out by clicking on the link at the top right hand side. This is a tough as nails roguelike platformer with permadeath that has some glimmers of good fun and is enjoyable in short runs, but probably won't hold your attention and will frustrate you after a little while. At this price point though, if you like this type of game, it's a good time to add it to your collection. The Romancing Saga is a series that stretches back to the early 90s. Unlike some of Square Enix's other long-standing series, it's not as well known in the West, which is a shame given some of its unique aspects. Taking on the role as the leader of Avalon, the game takes place over generations. The characters you start with won't be there down the line and managing the kingdom is a big part of the draw here. Both parts 2 and 3 have been remade and as far as sprite based games go, they look bright and nice. The series took a different approach to other RPGs and are certainly worth experiencing if you're after something a little bit different. Speaking of different, Woven is a wonderfully different game. The premise is that you are the last of a woolen species that's now been taken over by metal monsters. On your quest to figure out what happened, you befriend a metal firefly with amnesia. Along the way, you pick up blueprints to change into different animals with different abilities. It's a short and easy game, a nice chill out title to sit back and relax with, and with 90% off, it's a real bargain. Drawnjun is a papercraft first person dungeon crawler. It's not massively complicated with its simple gameplay and procedurally generated dungeons to explore. It's both basic and quite cool, but it's not going to set your world on fire. Of course, with a nice chunky sale, it's a good time to investigate. We had the pleasure of reviewing Alder's Blood and our title sums it up nicely. XCOM meets Darkest Dungeon. The discount is decent with 50% off at the moment and this one's not been out for too long and certainly offers a dark and engrossing tale, solid gameplay and a really cool style. Blazing Beats is a great little game to play with friends. Levels are randomly generated and you can play story mode with a friend cooperatively or alone. Either way, it's a blast. If you want to compete against friends, 
then there is a tournament mode too to test your skills against each other. For us, we loved how simple it was to pick up and play and get into, but difficult to master. Blasting Foes is super fun. This is a strong pickup at a really great price point. What is Cluster Puck 99, you ask? It's the perfect game to enjoy right now if you're stuck at home with family. It's a competitive sports game for up to eight players that has similarities to shuffleboard and ice hockey. You pass a puck from player to player across maps filled with traps, get to the opposite team's goal and score. When we got a copy of this for review, we were visiting family for the weekend and ended up playing this for hours on end. It's great one-on-one -on -one and even better if you can get four or more players and make two teams. There's nothing fancy about this one, just pure mayhem and fun. That's it for our picks this week. What takes your fancy? Let us know below. But before you go, you might remember the Cubit Game Sale celebrating their 17 year anniversary. They gave us a whopping six codes to give away and we had some fun with it asking you to sum up the sale with 17 letters and we got some awesome and creative responses. So thank you everyone who took part. And without further ado, the winners are, first up it's Her Addiction 444 with my wallet, thanks you. A nice summary of this sale, I have to say. Next up it's Eloy, Eloy, sorry for butchering your name, but uh, this one, no more pocket money. I love that one. Our third winner is David Kyle Payne with his very pragmatic, better get my wallet. David Lyons sums it up nicely, top up 10 pound and go nuts. Congratulations to Game Over for Door Kicks to Victory, one of the game codes that we're giving away. And this last one made me laugh. Francis York Morgan, congratulations to you. I love the honesty. I just want a code, bro. There you go. Congratulations to all of our winners. Please email us at contact us at switchwatch.co.uk and we'll get you those codes. Thanks everyone for stopping by and hanging out with us. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Jordan will be back tomorrow with his physical roundup. We'll see you there. Take care. Thank you.